Hi, my name is Stefan and I'm the product owner of the Power Slides. Today I want to share with you some of the best practices for optimal library update settings within Empower. Um, so first let's define what are um, library updates. Um, the library updates are probably one of the most important aspects of the library, uh, meaning that you can um, benefit from having one version that is always up to date in all the various presentations that you use. So um, first of all, let's define two types of different updates that are available within Empower. So on the right hand side um, on the screen, you see the typical update result wizard, as we call it. This update wizard always um, pops up when there are outdated versions in your presentation. Um, and this update wizard can be triggered by two different types of updates. So one update type is um, an update inside the library. That means imagine you have a like the typical client reference slide. So these are our clients and this slide gets updated regularly. So this slide could um, happen to be in various presentations, right? Um, so um, you So if you want to push some updates to the various um, instances like other presentations where the slide is used. And this is something we would call an update inside the library because it affects different presentations or different slides in, in the same library. And then there are other types of updates. Um, simply put, it's updates outside the library. That means imagine you take that one client reference slide from your library, you put it in your presentation, um, and then you use the presentation, for example, a sales pitch, and you save it on a share drive or on a SharePoint. And later on, you want to reopen that presentation. Um, in case that reference slide has been updated in the meantime, you will also get an update message, the same notification that you see here on the right hand side. So you always get the same kind of notification, but sometimes it's just outside of the library because you opened up something from an external source, or we talk about the updates inside the library um, because um, one slide is used in multiple locations in your Empower library. Today, I want to strictly focus on updates inside the library because there is kind of some complexity in that topic and there are many options that you can define and configure in Empower. So it's kind of important to understand the different options you have and of course to understand what scenario fits best to your company. Um, the updates outside the library, by the way, um, are kind of straightforward. So um, you can either decide whether you want to have these updates or want to disable these updates, but there's nothing more to consider. And then, of course, with the update wizard, you can decide individually, do I want to accept or reject that update? Um, so, but from now on, let's focus on the update settings inside the library. So um, we defined multiple best practices approaches. Um, and over the years, and now we're doing this since nine years, we learned a lot about what is working well for some clients, what is not working. Um, and we see in general two very different approaches and one in between. So if you want, it's from black to white and there's one gray approach as well, um, which we don't recommend, by the way. So um, how do you work with the library is, of course, the key question. And we identified very different characteristics of companies. So there is this one type of company that we would call um, how they work with Empower in a highly structured fashion. Um, it's not good or bad, it's just a description of how we see these companies. Um, so they are highly structured, very disciplined and well-organized content producers, meaning it's more normally a specific team dedicated to populate the library with content. They are very well trained and very aware of the dependencies between the slides. So this is one type of company profile we see quite often. And then there is the complete opposite on the right hand side of the spectrum, um, which we would call the independent work style. So there are multiple content producers. They might not be aware of the overall library structure. And they kind of save their content in, independently of each other in the specific folders where they have access rights to. Um, and it could be that there are quite a few of these editors and it could be that they are not perfectly trained, um, meaning it's just everybody uses the system partly. Um, and that's totally fine, but um, totally different impact on how to set up the, the update structure accordingly. And last but not least, there is something in, be in between, and it's a typical 
kind of gray zone, um, which we would call like the hybrid mode. It's partly well structured, at least parts of the library, and other parts are totally independent. Um, and I have to admit, in the past, when we when we um, created this whole update mechanism of Empower, we only thought about the hybrid mode. We thought that this is the best way to go. We thought we leave it up to the user to, to decide whether or not to accept an update. We thought this is like totally flexible, um, but it, um, it showed over time that many clients um, of us are not super happy with this mode because we create quite a few update messages. And in some cases we create really lots of update notifications and every user has to make a decision. The problem is that some users who are not aware of the updates um, might just you know, look for the X and just escape or just cancel this update resolve wizard, which is of course not the purpose of the whole um, exercise. Um, but the more update messages there are, the more likely that people are like, oh, I just want to skip that now. And, and of course, that's the problem why today, and this is something, of course, we have this recommendation section later on, but um, we don't believe that the hybrid mode is the best one. You should rather choose between highly structured or independent. So let's look into a bit more detail um, how that works. So let's start with the approach number one, the highly structured setup. Um, so in a nutshell, so you see here the screenshot of the Empower customizing tool. Um, so it's actually exactly these settings that you would need to do in order to achieve the scenario. So let me just um, highlight the, um, the important settings. So we should always have as a receive setting show all updates. Um, then the idea is in that highly structured approach that we force updates all the time whenever you save or save as. So we force updates. Um, that means whenever you save, all linked elements will automatically be updated at the same time. And because of show all updates, it does not matter which element you take. You could be in a sales presentation and you have your current slide and you realize this is outdated. You make an update, you press save and all the other slides are um, up to date as well. Or um, and the other way around. So it doesn't matter where you are, it's always um, one version. Um, there is one optional tip that we put here. If that for some reason might be too extreme for you or you are a bit scared, um, there is um, one slightly um, one slight alternative. Um, and the alternative would be that you don't say show all updates, but only show updates from origin only. In that case, what would happen is you would create a specific section in your library, like let's call it a slide pool with reusable slides. And then you create another section in your library, let's call it presentation pool, for example. And now you always create presentations based on these individual slides, right? So you have, you create all this um, presentations with these slides from the slide pool. And now what happens is if you make a change to the slide pool, it will 100% go to all the presentations in your library. But if you, for example, make a specific change to a um, slide in the presentation area um, that you don't want to have updated to the entire library, you can still do that in that case because it would, all, although the up, um, setting is forced update, it will not force the update to all the other slides because it's only showing updates from origin. So this is one way of um, doing it. There is an issue with this optional tip though. You have to be super structured. You can't just be in a presentation and realize, oh, this slide needs to get updated. You have to then think, oh, I need to go to the origin first, make this update here, and then to, in order to push it everywhere. So you see it needs, it takes a bit more of your attention and of your time to do it. On the other hand, you have more control that there is nothing wrong happening. So for you, a good tip is if you have specific um, adjustments to a central slide in individual presentations, if that's important for you, then you would need that optional um, tip. Otherwise, you can just go with share all updates in all directions. So um, just to visualize that. Um, so let's imagine we are you know, updating this slide here um, and there are connected slides. So this is, should be just a concept. There are the same slides in different presentations. So let's imagine I'm updating my slide 
and, and the moment I click on save and empower, all the linked slides get into the same version without any further ado. So it's automatically updated. I don't need to open them to check. It's always the same version. Don't be scared. There is the version history. So in case something went wrong, you can get out, you can get from the version history, the old version, click on save and all the um, other elements get the old version again. So there is no risk for you involved. But you see the beauty is if you have a slide that is used maybe in four or maybe in 10 or 20 presentations, you just to have to change it once, click on save and you're done. And there's always, and you can be sure, there's always one single version of any given slide in the library, which is something unachievable without Empower, obviously, because we, we all know the problem of having way too many versions of a slide flying around. So that's approach number one. Um, the other approach, the independent library setup, um, goes like this. So we also have show all updates, but by default, we say disable updates when sharing and when saving and disable updates when save as, when you click save as. That means you, um, although those slides are still connected, um, you don't get any update message or any forced update when you change one element in the library. Um, I'll just show that you, to you on the next slide. So imagine, same story, we update our slide. Although they are linked, nothing happens. Right? There is no update message, no new version. They are all they are invisibly connected, but without any direct impact. You might wonder why would I do that? It's actually it's it's the way you used to work without Empower, because you just have multiple versions and you're responsible for keeping them up to date. And um, the only thing that Empower adds is that we have this invisible dotted line connection. So you can at any point in time. You could open up the admin, um, the update center, and you can see all the various versions available and accept or apply a version that you like more. So you still have the ability to, to do an update, but by definition, it's not. In case you want to force an update, you can still do this um, when you do um, the save as dialog. So when you save that slide, um, click save as, and then you can still say, hey, this update I want to force. So you can do it individually. So it's the same logic that applies for version and um, for the approach number one, but you have to explicitly think about it and you make an explicit choice. I want to share this update now. If you don't think, if you just click save, nobody will be annoyed or nobody will get to know um, about your update unless he or she looks for it. Um, so that means in consequence, there could be many different versions of one slide Although they are still linked, they could be something very different. Um, unless, of course, you use the update center to, to check out other versions. That's the, the second approach. And if you're in that model of independent workers, we suggest this mode um, because nobody gets um, update notifications that don't fit, right? Um, and you are um, you're still flexible to have this, um, this linked information. So, Last but not least, approach number three, the hybrid mode, just um, that you know. So we have um, also show all updates, but then we have the default um, save setting share update for save and save as. That means you save an element and without, unless you change that setting, these are just default settings, by the way, right? So you can always change the settings when you click on save as, but we see that most of the time users don't make changes to the save as settings. That's why I'm presenting these different methods here. Um, what happens is you have your slide, you update it, and when you save it, you create update messages for all the other elements in that library next time you open them. So these are the common problems that you might be aware of, that you open a presentation and you get update messages and you wonder why. And that's exactly what happened. Somebody made a change to a familiar, to a related slide and just said, hey, I wanna share that, but you have to make that choice. Um, it might be that this is the perfect way for you to go, um, but be aware there can be many update notifications and you have to make a choice every time. So to summarize, um, our recommendation for you is the following, really depending on how you're structured. Um, if some or all of these statements fit to you, um, and I'm stating them first before I tell you which version to use, um, you have a rather, rather small team of editors, like content producers, 
um, and they produce most of the content and all the other users are mainly consuming this content. This is one criteria. Then these editors are well trained and in empower and they know what they are doing. They understand the update concept, they understand the library. Um, another point would be you have clear rights. So not everybody has too many editing rights. So only just a few people have editing rights. The others just have reading rights. And last but not least, you have many presentations in the library that use the same slides in multiple presentations. So just the example we made, a client reference slide centrally used in many presentations. This is important. Um, if that's the case, if one or many of these aspects fit to your way of working, then you should certainly go with the approach number one, the highly structured way of forcing updates through. Um, my personal opinion is that's the best way of using the system because you get the most benefits out of Empower Library and updates and because you're always on the latest version. But it requires that you match most of these criteria on the left-hand side. Alternatively, if that didn't fit to you, um, let's see whether this works better. You have multiple users with editing rights. There is no clear rights hierarchy in your, um, in your library. They are not all perfectly trained. You don't have time for the training kind of stuff. So they have just a basic understanding of the library. Um, and there might be not so much content and maybe the presentations don't use the same slides at all. Could be that you just put individual presentations without any connection. Um, in that case, go with approach number two. Go with an independent way of not, sh not, um, not sharing updates, not forcing updates. So people will work as they are used to. They work kind of like with PowerPoint, but of course have the benefits from a library. Um, but only if you need at a later stage, you can still make changes to the settings and you still have the invisible connection. So you are able to see all the different um, updates or the different versions in the update center. So if you are rather this type of company, go for the independent style. Um, and last but not least, approach number three, we don't recommend it. You might use it today and you're happy with it, then it's all good. But for, for clients that want to make a decision, we rather think of black or white, choose one of those two approaches and you will be um, happy, um, we believe. So um, this was just a short overview about the Empower update settings. And we are really happy to address your specific questions. And um, if you just send us your requirements and maybe you, you didn't see that approach one or two is working for you, that could be. And um, the good news is Empower has so many different configuration um, possibilities that there are, of course, many, many different scenarios possible. So just share us, um, your questions and we will address them soon and set up a call with you to go through your um, requirements. So I hope that was useful. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.